Hey guys, what's going on? Will here, Flawless Crested Gecko is coming to you this week with another video. Um, hopefully a pretty informative video. Um, this week we're gonna talk about starting Crested Gecko business or any reptile business, any business really across the board um, on a budget and without loans. So, <clears throat> Any business venture you go down, one of the considerations you're going to have to uh, consider um, is going to be your budget, your capital. Um, how much capital you're going to have either readily available um, or uh, attainable, you know, where you don't have it readily available or you can go get it, meaning a loan, uh, whether it be a personal loan, family, friend, or a, a bank loan, um, or maybe some type of, I don't know, life savings or something of the sort, but you have to have some type of capital to invest in said business. After that, um, you're also going to have to have a running capital, um, a running revenue where you'll be able to continue to uh, keep things afloat. Uh, depending on what the demands of your business is, um, which is why I want to put it on this platform and hopefully reach as many people as possible. Um, we're very, very blessed and thankful um, to be in this industry and um, taking this path. We're very, very thankful. Um, Crested Geckos has changed our lives. Um, we mean that literally. Um, <laughs> I mean, the passion for these guys, how much fun we have creating incredible animals, um, the, the ones that will never leave here, uh, and also our business concept of how to put things you know, into motion and come full circle. So, oops. So, um, right off the top, you know, you have your capital and Let's talk about what type of capital you may have um, in in the realm of uh, low amount and high amount, um, because it does matter. Uh, in life, there's two things you have. It really, really, uh, to dumb it down to the most simplest form, um, you can either spend money or have time. <laughs> um one or the other um and if you have time cool put the time in spend low amount of money or if you spend a moderate amount of money or a high amount of money then you can limit some of the time that you have um, to dedicate to it but either way you're going to trade time for money that's that's life hey guys uh, flawless do. crusty geckos here will audra and we're here to tell you about our patreon yes going through tough times you got to know that flawless is always going to have your back if you go over to patreon.com slash flawless crusty geckos you'll see all the perks and benefits it is there for you to come and support us on our patreon fifty dollars a month turns around and goes right back into your Flawless Crested Gecko savings account for you to use towards your next purchase. Any purchase. We also give awesome benefits such as 5% off off the top of the, the price of the gecko. We get free merchandise, t-shirts, we have stainless steel tables, tools, yes. <laughs> all kinds of goodies. We also give free shipping to our members all year round, no blackout dates. And, you know, we give awesome tips, or we think we do anyway. <laughs> That's right. So go over to patreon.com slash Flawless Crested Gecko. And, and join our family. Uh, we do it every day. Everybody is watching these videos that, you know, you work a 9 to 5 or any job or any career. You're trading your time for money. Same thing as a small business or getting it off the ground. Um, also, uh, while we're on that topic, as you invest... A good rule of thumb that we used um, when we really, really first got started, and we were Audra and I were both, you know, police officers. Um, I was actually on a roll for a pretty long time, ten years, and had a lot of duties and responsibilities on both of our shoulders. But that being said, we found so much enjoyment in these animals, and it brought us together as a couple. Um, made our bond stronger. We had uh, more activities to do together and enjoy each other's time. And um, it just, it's been an amazing ride, basically. But 
back to the money side of it, you either have a means of income, we were working at that time, and you started spending money on things that you enjoy, which were Crested Geckos. So um, how some people vacation, maybe if you're vacationing three and four times a year, if you want to knock, you know, cut one, you know, trip down and allocate a certain budget to kind of get your business off the ground, regardless of what your business may be, uh, you could do that. Or uh, if you're spending money on frivolous things like me right now, hopefully next video you guys will see I'll be freshly sa uh, shaven. Um, with so much stuff, we thought we had so much time on our hands working for ourselves, but we're always doing something. And now that we're wrapping up these videos, we're always recording as well. Um, so even shaving has become a task. <laughs> um, but luckily, I do that myself. So I'll take care of that, you know, much later this evening. But um, you can cut small things out where, hey, if you're going to, you know, save money on a hairstylist or a barber, you know, every couple weeks, you know, and pocket that money in the savings and invest into a business venture of your own. Um, that's an avenue you can go down. Um, maybe not eat out so often. That's an avenue you can go down. Anything where you can cut your expenses on things that you're already spending money on that are not necessities, um, just to re reallocate funds uh, to a path of something that's your passion um, or a dream. Um, that will allow you to move faster in a direction uh, as far as starting your business. So um, that's number one. You want to cut all the excess uh, expenses so that you can concentrate on your goal. Um, write up a business plan and you know execute that business plan. You see that on our IG feed and Facebook feed. Talking about plan, 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 dream big and execute. Um, we want to, again, keep promoting positivity because Guys, we're living proof that you can do it. And if we can do it, anyone can do it. Um, our passion and, and, and grit, you know, and perseverance, you know, it's probably, you know, for us, it's unmatched. But, you know, I can definitely see it's a lot of room in this industry for everyone to be successful. And, you know, to have good integrity and morals while doing so. Anyway, so back on topic. You want to have capital, running capital. You're going to have to invest that money. And when you invest it, forget it. People are like, what do you mean? So if you invest one, two, five thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand, just forget about it. Uh, that I will identify just an opinion. That's where a lot of business um, startups make their mistakes. You know, um, you invest a large sum of money or whatever may be the sum of money. And you start setting a game plan, you know, a year, six months, two years, three years. I'm going to get that money back and I'm going to be in the black and I'm going to be, you know, doing well. That's not how it works. you got to have a better mindset than that. In all business, um, another good rule of thumb is you're going the money you invest, invest amounts of money that you can afford to do without. That's the name of hopefully having a successful build uh, business building a successful business is how long can i do without this money and fundamentally guys i mean the average person does it every single day and we don't really acknowledge it um think about you know policing you know we pay into a pension you know every paycheck we pay in the taxes you know, um, so you pay your taxes, you pay your pension, you pay your Medicaid, you pay all these things, every single paycheck. And we do it for years, you know, um, police and you had to do 28 years to retire. Um, we walked away from our retirement. Some people thought it was crazy, but, you know, we have bigger plans than just that. We have more to get a world than just that. Um, and we felt it was a better move for our family. Um, so to put it in perspective, if you're putting away, let's say $200, no matter what you're making, but $200 a paycheck um, for the next 28 years, every single week or every two weeks, essentially, I mean, you've, you've trained your, your mind, you've trained your day to day, you've trained your lifestyle to do without that money that essentially you, you're making, you're working for, that you're trading your time for, that you're not essentially getting paid for in the now. You're putting off that to get it when you retire. 
so in a much, much shorter time frame, it's the same thing with a business startup. Um, you're going to put off, you know, that thousand dollars that you invested into your crusty gecko um, or let's say a small startup, let's say um, 10 grand overall um, over the course of your first year. You are very strategic with your purchases and you have a game plan, a business plan and you're executing. The thing is, with that 10 grand, don't expect to get it back. Treat it like it's an expense, a business expense and it's gone. Gone. Don't say, hey, I'm going to get this back. I'm going to get a little bit back here. But no, nope, it's gone. Um, and it's a good a good reason to do it that way is because after that first year and you're established, let's say you buy babies, whatever it may be, the second year you may do the same thing, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little less, but you're getting sheer enjoyment off of what you're producing and what you're doing and just a simple care of these animals. Um, that's the grind. That's the process. Um, that's the, the education, the information. You're, you're browsing the web. You're engaging. You're networking. You're putting yourself out there. Boom. Branding. Branding, branding, branding. Brand awareness. Um, I mean, guys, it's all over the internet. We just wanted to put some of this information all in one video for a source for you guys. Because it's fully attainable. It's not, it's not impossible. I promise you. Um, so... Second year you're doing it, and let's say you did, wasn't as uh, full, I guess full speed as first year. So 10 grand first year, five grand second year, um, and you're already producing, all right? You're getting your name out there. The thing about it is in this specific hobby with Crested Geckos, uh, they do it with ball pythons. They do it with, we're doing it currently with ball pythons. You know, with no intentions on, oh, we need to get this money. But that money's gone. It is what it is. We, we, we now have a stake in ball pythons. We have ownership in ball pythons. We have equity in ball pythons. And it'll come full circle. We got a business plan and executing and no, no worries at all. We've already started selling some, which is kind of cool. But there's no dollar amount saying that, hey, we need to do this to make sure that it comes full circle. Because contrary to popular belief, any business, let's step outside for just a second, guys. Let's see if we can do it this way. Hypothetically speaking, comment in the comment section if you agree or disagree. You know, um, this is a very positive channel. We don't always have to agree with everything. And I would love to see some of you guys' opinions. But, you know, you go to the bank, you invest 100, 100 grand into a savings account. And you get, let's say, you know, you get 2% interest. Not going to happen, but you get 2% interest. I mean, you ain't making no money off of that money. You're really not. That's why people find other avenues to put their money in. Because when the bank gives you your 2%, they make a lot more off of playing with your money than you do. That's just, I mean, big bank take little bank. That's the name of the game. That's how it works. So when you have that proof of concept there, and someone comes to you and they say, hey, if you can do this, who in their right mind give you $100,000, right? And they say, you can't save it. That's the number one thing. You cannot put it in the bank and save it. 100 grand, you have to figure out a business concept and execute it. Who wouldn't invest that in anything? It doesn't have to be Crested Geckos, but in any business, restaurant, food truck, whatever it may be, say it was a good concept to spend $100,000, every single penny of that money. And year one, you make five grand. Year two, off of that share investment, things cart you know circulating year two you make let's say 15 year three let's say you make 22 year four you make 25 and you plateau now there's things you can do in businesses in every single business to shift focus in advertising and marketing to break through business plateaus um, but let's say, like I said, in year five, you hit a plateau and you're making 25 after year five. And for the sake of the argument, it fluctuates between 20 and 25. 
after that for the next six, you know, six year six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So ten years in on a hundred thousand dollar investment, you've more than doubled your money. It's, it's it's unheard of. Um, is what I'm trying to say. Not very many businesses, if any, are able to do that. Um, and you can do that in Crested Geckos. You can do that in Ball Pythons. You can do that in Bearded Dragons. You can do that in this reptile industry. Um, we all get too wrapped up. And I say we. We are a part of this community. We get too wrapped up in, I purchased this animal for $10,000. And, you know, two years later, um, the very same animal is $5,000. And at the two year mark for whatever, you know, just for sake of the argument, I'm producing said animal. I don't even want to get into genes, but I'm producing said animal. Um, my name is not as big as the people that I've gotten into the, you know, gene or reptile with. Um, so I'm not able to sell for as much as they are. So I'm able to pull four grand an animal instead of the 10 grand or the five grand that they're going for who cares guys work on the business concept because guess what that 10 grand you dropped two years ago two years later in the current you're producing you still own the equity you still own the investment you still own the breeding the breeding currently breeding and producing animal and you're producing stock off of them you may not be producing 10, 12 babies a year where you would want, but let's say you, you, you have crappy eyes and you're producing six of said animal. And when you produce those six, you're only getting the four grand. Yeah, you're catching up. Yeah. So six of those animals that you're producing, oh, wow, it's only $4,000 each. And yeah. 24 grand two years in off of your $10,000 investment. So what I'm basically getting to is stick to your game plan. Produce what you want to produce. Uh, execute. Dream big. Make it all happen. But stick to the game plan. Because reptile industry right now, whether it's a down you know, slope or not, this industry not just crested geckos not just ball pythons this is one of the only industries out here that i've seen anywhere close to real estate you know we've dabbled in real estate as well you know this is the only thing anything <laughs> close to real estate um where you can do things on this scale and it ends up being life-changing there's nothing wrong with making money off of animals as long as you take care of your animals animals responsibly so this is all about the business concept so i promise you like we go back anyone came to you and say hey i give you a hundred thousand dollars you got to spend every dime of it for you to make 200 grand in 10 years you're gonna do it and guess what the retirements are not doing it the banks are not doing that Show me where you're making off of that hundred grand, that type of profit, you know, a hundred percent profit in 10 years. It's just not happening. So we got to go out there and make it happen ourselves, but you can do it. So let's chat it up in the comments. Keep it all positive. This is a very, very positive ch channel. We want to see uh, different perspectives, different point of views, but you know, you can start your business on a budget and you can be phenomenal at that at this business in crested geckos anytime you want to start um chase your dreams chase your projects you could be the next person that makes tigers the most sought after you could be the next person to make phantoms the, mo the most sought after um i would like to meet the person that make flames the next sought after you know that's not a jab but it's just one of them genes that we're working with and trying to see what we can do with it. But anyway, not to get off the beaten path of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, kind of this business concept video. We jumped around a little bit. Hopefully you guys get the gist of it. Um, guys, hopefully you have a flawless week. It's Will. We out.